mountain. The mountain in many cultures is the goddess. In Indian culture, the mountain is the goddess. The mountain is the cosmic body, the body. The mountain is the, is the home of the divinity in so many cultures, Japan, Southeast Asia, in Native American cultures. Um, and the mountain is the place of plurality. So if, when you look at, and, I, and I'm thinking of, you know, very big mountains, you have all these different flora and fauna as you go different parts of the mountain. There, there are different things. There's a wildness to the mountain. The mountain is the source of the rivers and streams which nourish the earth. So is the body. So the body is the mountain, plurality, um, diversity everywhere, nourishing. It's nourishing of life, of our life. And our bodies simply are nourishing because the earth, the tree is nourishing, earth is nourishing in its element, not in our mind way, in its elemental intelligence, just like the mountain. And this, the, the, the ancient practice of you know, going to the mountains was going to our, the spiritual inquiry, when, when they would say going to the mountain. So the going to the mountain is also going to the body, the spiritual inquiry, going to the body, going to the mountain. And one of the, the greatest wisdoms in modern times about you know what is this mountain invocation it comes in this alpine climbing practices. So in alpine climbing, especially solo climbing, um, and and recently the, I just watched this documentary, which you know as I always say when you're in an invocation, the universe will throw you things along your way to guide you to help you kind of you know, to reveal its full intelligence. And so there was this documentary about alpine climbing that I'm not, in, I'm not a climber, I'm not interested in climbing, but it came my way and I thought, oh, I'm invoking the mountain, I might look, look into it. And sure enough, there it was, all, the, all of the wisdom that I was, you know, kind of looking at. So this young man is talking about his experience with solo climbing, where they climb without a lot of equipment and they climb these huge alpine mountains. Um, and everything he said was about this intelligence and the wisdom of the mountain. He was talking about how he, you don't go there with maps and because it's not very helpful. Very limited help of having routes and maps because the mountain changes all the time. In fact, it can be quite dangerous to go there armed with a map and somebody else's route and you think, oh yeah, I got this. So he says, it's, it's, what he does is he goes to the mountain and he looks at the mountain. And he, he, you know, through that, he goes there completely fresh and climbs this mountain. And when he's climbing, it's like this tortoise movement. So the tortoise is the feet of the mountain. And it's the, the movement, literally when you watch him climb, you can see this, this person on this rock face and you know moving inching along like the feet of you know like the the, the tortoise inching um, inching along like a tortoise and sometimes he's got to kind of just wait sense reassess reflect because a smallest wrong move and either you'll have a big chunk of rock falling on you or you will be falling to your death. So there is this constant presence of death and there is this humility, patience to just test, take step by, like the tortoise. So it's not the striding forth, you know, oh yeah, I know what, where I'm going. But it's the step, it's almost like, as he said, it's like the mountain allows you. And it's not so much, you know, sometimes you've got to go, you've got to come down because there's a storm and so you're crawling all your way back down. All sorts of things can happen, but it is just that moment by moment encounter with this mountain that is alive and changing. And, you know, even, even when they get to the summit, when most, many of the times they don't, it's not a sense of conquest, but it's a sense that just this time it happened because you were allowed to. It has almost nothing to do with, oh, I am this amazingly skilled person, but there is a kind of, they, of course, there is skill and intelligence. It's not a space of no intelligence, but it's an allowing, collaborative, 
humble co-creative space and that so the whole wisdom of this mountain the tortoise our feet so our feet are like the tortoise and we go with humility with care with patience with an allowing and that is this the body as the mountain our feet as the tortoise and then you've got